So how do you use artificial intelligence to generate cells? In this video, I'm going to be breaking down each and everything that you need to know about AI within cells. This is part of a seven video series where I talk about each and every one of the different options you can use to generate cells and how they work and how you can get the best value out of them. And for this very specific video, I'll just dive deeper into AI for cells and how it would work exactly for you. And for those that don't know, my name is Kenneth Ntene and over the past 10 years, I have been in the world of cells. I have sold in Africa, I have sold in Europe and the United States of America. My 10 years of experience give me the context to better guide you on what would work for your case and what would not. So let's get started. Now, before we dive in, I would first of all want to get you to understand how does sales work for most businesses? There are different steps that you go through in order to get the sales that you want. I mean, it's like a formula. A plus B equals to C. In order to get C, you need to understand how A and B works at least when it comes to the context of sales and here's what you need to know so for many of the businesses the first step within sales is what they call prospecting prospecting is man get the leads in one way or another some people decide to run ads some people decide to run online ads others on, on tv others decide to sell send their sales reps to the field the essence of that step is get for us the contacts that we need to talk to these contacts could be based on things like company information. As an example, if you're selling a B2B product to hospitals, get the phone numbers of people that work within these hospitals. If you're selling a product, a mainstream product, as an example, to Tinder, get the numbers of people that reside around Tinder because once you have these numbers, then you go to step number two. You're going to initiate conversations. Whether it's you've run a Facebook ad and this contact has come to you, the next step is they're going to drop your WhatsApp and you're going to communicate you're going to tell them what you do what your value proposition is as an example if i were selling digital marketing services i'm going to introduce someone that man this is what we do here's what the value proposition is is for you and here's why we could possibly work together that's what they call initial sales conversations after you've had those initial sales conversations step number three which is the most important that i believe personally I struggled with the most is we need to follow up just because I've talked to someone now it does not mean that they're going to buy from me today they might listen to what I have to say talk to their bosses and maybe a two three months later that's when they would give me the money it means if I don't put in place a structure of this is what I'm going to communicate with this person first, check on him after two weeks, check on him after three weeks, sending him more helpful information, they are never going to give me that money. And step number four is what they call qualification. Qualification is just sieving out who's interested, who's not, eh? before eventually it comes to closing. Now, why I've broken this step down for you is because what artificial intelligence does is it helps you with each and every one of these different stages. So why I broke down each and every one of these stages is because artificial intelligence helps you across each and every one of those stages. We have a product called the Trendy Sales AI tool, which you literally get into. I'm going to have a demo right here. And the first question it will ask you is, who are you trying to sell to? As an example, you may say, I'm trying to sell to manufacturers in Nairobi or I'm trying to sell to manufacturing companies in Uganda it will literally pick for you the contacts of all these people their phone numbers where they work their job titles all the information you need to know about these people then step number two it will even go ahead and initiate for me those sales conversations I mean even if I get a thousand leads today I still need to talk to them and tell them what we do these communications are done in the same place as email, WhatsApp, SMS. I might as well tell the AI that, you know what, once you've got for me this contact, do the initial conversation for me. Send them a WhatsApp on my behalf. The person who receives the message will never know that an AI is the one that has done that. All they'll receive is a WhatsApp message from me telling them about this and that. Step number three, which is called follow-up, literally advise the AI on, do you know what, eh? after I have talk, initiated this conversation, in case the person hasn't responded back to me, follow up on my behalf, check on him again after a week. 
drop another follow-up message after two weeks. That way, what I would have needed to remember in my head that sales artificial intelligence tool is doing for me. So keep in mind that for us in the world of sales, 90% of our time is not really spent in closing deals. No, it's usually spent in these background things of prospect better, follow up better, qualify better. So if you don't do them well, if you don't have a tool that is helping you do that stuff well, at the end of the day, no matter how much you demand sales from your team or from yourself, you're never going to get them simply because you're not doing these things well. And finally, what the AI does for you is it will keep tracking the messages that you have sent out to people. It will track and check. So, yes, I have sent this message. Has it been opened? Has it been clicked? Has the person reverted back to us? And depending on how they're interacting with these messages that you're sending, it would also sieve out for you and show you, you know what, eh? here is how this person is interacting with us, meaning we need to pay more attention to person X as opposed to person Y. That way, even you as a sales rep, you have kind of like a companion who is stealing, <laughs> stealing for you and showing you money. Number one, here I've got for you the person. Number two, I've engaged them, I've followed up. Number four, I've qualified them for you and at the end of the day showed you how much business you have made just from the work that the thing has done. Now, the best bit about all this is all of this stuff happens in the background. You don't need to, all you need to do is just tell it who you're looking for. And from that point, it will do all the heavy lifting. Get you the people, follow up, re-engage, re-engage, reattach. Making your work as a salesperson much, much easier than anything else you would have had. So in a nutshell, that's how sales artificial intelligence works for you. And if you'd like to test out this tool and have it deployed for your business, feel free to drop me a direct message, a DM. Or send me an email on, on Kenneth at Trembi.com and I will guide you on how this would work for your case. Bye-bye for now.